All right, guys, what's up? Welcome. Uh, just going to get a few minutes here wait for to see if anybody is going to jump on today. We'll get started. All right, so welcome to the REO show, episode number six. Uh, thank you to everyone that sent me uh, some messages last week about our goal setting uh, video. I really, really appreciate that. Everybody was really kind, so thank you very much for that. Um, we had to move the episode uh, from yesterday to today. We had some investor meetings, which went really well. I'm really excited about uh, so. But uh, today I just wanted to uh, quickly talk about a couple of different things, some experiences that I've had over the last uh, couple of weeks in terms of uh, meeting experts. So, uh, and give you guys actually uh, some referrals of people that I think are worthy of talking to, okay? So first and foremost, if you don't know us, this is your first time tuning in. I'm Ben Fredericks, I'm with Odell Barnes REO. We do this little show. Uh, this is episode number six of the REO show, and basically uh, going to be talking to you about properties, about you know uh, buying REOs, foreclosures, doing owner financing. Uh, hope to bring you some guests in uh, 2019 of people that I like and respect in the industry, and then um, also you know just share some different uh, strategies that I've used uh, from a. Uh, inspirational, motivational standpoint, things that uh, have been passed along to me by mentors and coaches that I've worked with. So um, today I'm going to be talking to you. Oh, before I get into that, be sure to check out our, we have a bunch of new inventory on the website, uh, which you can see on the screen right now. Uh, or if you're on Instagram, it is Odell Barnes, R-E-O.com. Uh, but we've got some great new properties on there and some great deals that you know, we'd love to make you a deal on before the end of the year. So if you're looking to add some new inventory, we want to clear the way because we're hoping that we're going to get a windfall of deals from the bank uh, for the end of the year. So stay tuned for that at the end of the month. Uh, we'll have a, a, an announcement of what we actually did win at auction. So uh, head on over to the website and check that out. Um, so I wanted to share a, a bit of a a story with you guys to give you some context when it comes to dealing with people that are experts. Okay. There are a lot of experts everywhere. I have people calling me thinking I am an expert. All right. I'm not, I'll, I'll just throw it out there. I'm not an expert. Okay. I'm learning every single day. So I'm not one of these people that has a course to sell. Uh, although I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I have people that I like and respect that sell courses that are great. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you about a couple of them today. Uh, but that's just that's just not where I am right now in my space. So, but anyway, I wanted to share this story with you. So, I was at a conference a couple of weeks ago, and I got approached afterwards where somebody says, "Hey, I'm an Instagram person. I will help you grow your Instagram following." All right, I'm excited for that. I could use more Instagram followers. I think I've got like 3,400 or something like that, which is not a lot. So I was interested to see what they had to offer. So they have a course that they sell, of course. And the course is to teach you how to, you know, these different tactics and strategies. So there is a uh, an old saying, I think it's a U.S. military saying that says trust but verify. And a good friend of mine, Dan Satofsky, he says that all the time as well. And so I wanted to uh, check that out. So I looked at the person that is the selling the course and offering the, the, the education. And they had 150 some odd followers to their Instagram business page. All right. So I thought, well, maybe, maybe they've grown a big personal brand. And so I looked at their personal Instagram page and it was even smaller. So this is just a little bit of uh, a cautionary tale. Now, I'm sure people were buying this course, right? They must be. I mean, you don't put something out for sale and then nobody buys it. Maybe you do. I don't know. But 
I can't imagine you keep it out for sale and then keep marketing it if somebody wasn't buying it. So I was fascinated by that. So uh, just, you know, if you're looking at investing in yourself, which I really think is valuable, you should be investing in yourself. You should be wanting to learn more. Just be very cautious about who you are learning from. Okay. So I'm very gracious. I, I, I've had a lot of people reach out to me and I'm so humbled by that. I, I can't believe it that people reach out to me and ask for my advice. Um, I, I just try to stick to generalities. Most of my advice is feed this, open this, and the rest will come, okay? So, and work your ass off. If you do those three things, you're probably gonna be all right, all right? So, um, trust but verify. If you take anything away from this particular show today, trust but verify, all right? Um, stop looking for the get rich quick solution. Stop looking for the instant solution. There's a, you know, they call it shiny object syndrome. Stop looking for that. There is no, there is no such thing. All right. Unless you win the lottery and, you know, I'm still waiting for that to happen, but I don't play. So I guess it won't, but there is no such thing as get rich quick. All right. So just stick to what works, hard work, educating, education of yourself. And that's it. There's really no other secret. All right. So Stop falling for the, the Ty Lopez courses and, you know, all these other things that you can buy that say, oh, get, you know, $100,000 a month in income uh, on Instagram. Okay, somebody's doing it. I get it. Um, but they're mostly pitching these things to sell you a course. All right. That's how they're getting their 100000 a month on Instagram. So uh, if you do want to get involved in courses that are uh related to real estate. There are two that I will recommend. Actually, there are three, all right? One is with a guy named John Cochran, who is, uh, his moniker is the King of Systems, all right? You can look him up on YouTube or Facebook. Good dude, I uh, learned a ton of stuff from him. Actually, I'm gonna give you four. I'm gonna give you four today, all right? John Cochran, great dude. One of the best seminars I ever went to. I learned a tremendous amount of stuff on how to market a property from that guy really, really smart. He's got he's very systems oriented, which is something I like. And I got a lot of value. Second is a group called the kingdom real estate. All right. Great group of people. I just kind of outgrew them at this point, but they served a great purpose for me. It's they're not gurus. They're not, you know, trying to sell a bunch of courses. It's not like that. It's a lot of accountability, uh, mastermind type meetings. Uh, so if you look into uh, my buddy Todd Fleming, wrote a great book called us, If You Can't Wholesale After This, I've Got Nothing For You. It's like the number one bestseller on Amazon. Pick up that book if you want to learn how to wholesale. Todd's a really smart guy, um, somebody I really respect. Jordan Payne in that group, really respect him. Uh, these guys just hustle. So, um, and I was, you know, started in that group very early and it's grown to like a, a juggernaut. So check them out. Next guy is my boy, Dan Satofsky. You can find him on Facebook, just about anywhere. All right. So if you want to learn about turnkey rentals, that's your guy. All right. Don't even bother with anybody else. That is your guy. All right. He's very, very successful in the business. He is a straight shooter. You can trust him. He's a great guy. All right. That's like my brother from another mother. Finally, is Scott Carson. All right, if you want to learn about notes, Scott Carson is the guy. He puts on a great program. Um, you can, again, find him anywhere on Facebook. He's got a podcast called The Note Closers Show, I think it's called. Um, check him out if you want to learn about buying notes uh, and educate yourself on that. And those are like the four people I'd recommend if you're going to do a course. They're all great people, trustworthy. I've given them my money and gotten tremendous value. All right. So uh, those are people that I would definitely learn from and still learn from all the time. I listen to Scott's podcast all the time. Uh, I learn from uh, the kingdom on their Instagram all the time. You know, I, I learn from Dan all the time. Uh, John Cochran, he still puts out like system Saturday stuff and I love it. It's all good stuff. All right. So if you want to check that out and do that. Um, and then finally, uh, I just wanted to share a, a little bit of a tidbit. So 
over the weekend, I went to Key West for my wife's 40th birthday, which was awesome. Absolutely awesome. If you've not been to Key West, I highly recommend it. I haven't been in like 15 years. First time I've been back in a long time. And it was an amazing experience because it showed me how far I've come in the last couple of years, what the magic and the power of real estate can actually do for you. All right. So I was put into a position where I could do all of these things for my friends and my family and expect nothing back. And that's what it's all about. So for me, it's just giving back to the people that I care about the most and saying, Hey, it's on me. I got it. All right. And that's what real estate can do. It's super powerful. All right. I didn't get in this to, you know, work super hard and, and, you know, not enjoy it. All right. That's the point of real estate is so you can work your ass off and then enjoy the rewards that come along with it. Uh, and then eventually it's all about the freedom. All right. So give yourself, if you're working hard in real estate or anything that you do, make sure that you are getting yourself just a taste, just a taste of what the good life is reminding yourself along the way. Even if it's just three, four times a year, go stay in an amazing hotel, go take a, a, an awesome trip. Even if it's just for a couple of days, get a taste of what you are fighting for and it will keep you reminded why you keep going. Hey, thanks, Ben. Uh, ben Lover is another good guy I would follow. He's got a, a podcast I tune into. Uh, and uh, Ben, I type in the name of your podcast there so I can give you some dap. But, uh, you know, if you, if you want to learn, just be very selective about who you're going to learn from. And then the moral of the story is do all the work, get yourself a taste of the good stuff, and keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. All right. If I could be of any value to you guys or you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'm glad to help you wherever I can. Um, and, uh, you know, again, go to the website, bluedalebarnsreo.com. Check out our inventory. Let's put together a great deal for you. We've got owner financing. So if you are trying to get into the investment game, but you don't have a tremendous amount of money, use us. Use our money. All right. So let us help you get started. I put I threw up a case study on our Instagram page that you can check out. It's just at Odell Barnes REO on a property that we recently sold in Ohio, a duplex. They're thrilled. It's their first investment property, and they're going to be cash flowing. And they barely had to come out of pocket. All right. So we want to help you reach your goals. Let us know how we can do that with our properties. We'd be glad to do it. Or if you just need some. You know, you want to run a deal by us and say, hey, do you think this is a good thing to do? We'll put in our two cents if you need it. All right. But other than that, thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. I appreciate it. And I uh, hope to see you on the next one. Cheers. Oh, Ben, did you, did you type in your podcast? I didn't see it. All right, man. Do it next time. Do it next time. Cheers, guys. Let's see. Did we get any questions on Instagram today? A lot of waves. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, yes, the Kingdom Real Estate. That's who you want to check out. All right. Um, you can find them on Instagram. I don't think they do Snapchat anymore. 